because mm -hmm. our, of our population, we're about 350 to 400 million people. If you put another 66 million people plus mm -hmm. on top of that, like then people are like, well, if we had all these people, think of like the poverty, think of all the problems that we'd have, think about all these mouths yeah. we'd have to feed. Think of like, we're already having problems with poverty and things like that. We add on another seventh, seventh of the population. Like look at all these problems that are, and look yep. at all these, but that's, that's, that's the same, it's the same thing of slavery. It's like, how are we gonna solve this economically? The question is, we're going to have a rotting of our society if we don't solve this grave social mm -hmm. injustice. Yeah. And if we are just concerned with predicting the future and prophesying right. for the future and trying to predict, and we're only going to get overturn this grave evil when we have solutions to all the problems that spawn. But that's also, that's not the solution. Mm. I, and I agree that like, if you overturn Roe versus Wade, it's gonna cause a lot of problems. It is. It's gonna cause, but those problems we can, as a society, we, if we band together, if we unite, we are capable of overcoming every single one of those problems. It's gonna take creativity, it's gonna take innovation, it's gonna take changing, sacrifice, changing, sacrifice mm. per, changes of perspective, but we can overcome as a society every single one of those problems. We won't be able to overcome those problems if we never deal with the fundamental issue.